from this series. And uh, this pick from C1 certainly setting them up in the early game, but it was not clean. The last two games, not the first one, oh, immaculate. Absolutely and beautiful. The last two, a little bit messy. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, because these, these this is like this is such a clean play from Kana, right? Like using the hyper, using the movement speed. That's all great. But then he also gets caught inside twice, and then Teddy just get randomly taken down. Faker had an okay game, but it wasn't amazing either. Hit a couple of good shock blasts, but this overextension, I think, is the one thing. And that's T1. Can't have that happen in a semi, because this is a type of momentum shattering turning play um, that they played around so well for like the first yeah. part of the game. And then from that point on, in the end, still able to clinch it back. Um, Lift Sandbox just not quite there in terms of how they played some of these team fights out. Um, still a valiant effort, but not nothing yet. No, not quite. A little bit unfortunate for T1 here that Kana wasn't able to catch Prince mid lantern ride, but actually very good of him to uh, wait a little while. This was dangerous to say the least. Baker Shockwave certainly helping out, buying space with uh, Summit's Zonyas having to be used as well. However, only uh, a couple of Barons survived as this was it. This was the moment where Summit goes in thinking that everyone's going to be there in time, but unfortunately they are just out of sync. It's just a really nice collapse from T1, identifying that one member is not in place at the right time. And imagine if that now has the slicing that's done, yeah, as we have a listen to T1 winning. Communicating the base race possibility. Yeah, making sure that... Uh, Italy keep healing, keep healing, keep healing. <laughs> Not quite able to stop the back.